Hey, greetings from North Carolina. Behind me is Lake Fontana and the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. If you know this part of the country, you know some of the best motorcycling roads in the southeast are here. We're really close to Tail of the Dragon. There's uh, Moonshiner 28 and the Cherhala Skyway. We spent all day riding this bike on those roads. This is the 2024 Yamaha MT-09 SP. We reviewed the standard MT-09 a few months ago, and both models have been updated. This is actually the 10th anniversary of the MT-09 and also the fourth generation of these bikes. So, you know, there have been more than 30,000 MT-09 sold in the United States, more than 200,000 sold worldwide. So it's a really important bike for Yamaha. What the MT-09, all the updates for 2024 on the standard model are also on this bike, but what makes the SP different is that it's got upgraded suspension as well as upgraded brakes and a few other touches. So everything on the MT-09 that was updated from the styling, it's got a new Brembo radial front master cylinder, it's got revised ergonomics, it's got stiffer suspension to adjust for the ergonomics, which is a little bit more of an active riding position. It's got the new acoustic amplifier grills, which brings the intake noise up into the cockpit and really livens up the riding experience. It's got a full YRC a Yamaha Ride Control electronic suite that was adapted from the R1. They've added a back slip regulator for 2024. So it really helped control aggressive downshifts going into corners. So for the SP model, so the standard MT-09 is uh, 10,599. It's a great motorcycle for the money, a lot of value for that bike, great sport bike. And the SP is $1,700 more, it's $12,299. So is it worth it to make the upgrade to the SP? And I would say yes, especially on the really technical twisty roads that we are riding today. The suspension is in front. We've got an inverted KYB fork that's fully adjustable. And the shock in the back is a fully adjustable Olin shock with a remote reservoir. And like I said, both ends are fully adjustable. On the front end, the brakes have been upgraded to Brembo Stylema calipers, really the top shelf, top of the line brakes. And so what you're getting is a lot more control and precision in braking. You're getting a lot more responsiveness, uh, suppleness, and sort of uh, also precision in the damping for this bike. So it's a bike that you can really get dialed in much more so than the standard model. And again, it was a fantastic day. We were put almost 200 miles on this bike. A road like Tail of the Dragon, 318 curves, 11 miles, very technical, a lot of really tight 10, 15 mile an hour hairpins, a lot of rolling curves. They've actually on the Tennessee side, they freshly paved it about a month ago, so it's billiard smooth. And so this is really kind of the perfect bike for that. It's inline triple, 890 cc's, makes about 115 horsepower. It's got a next third generation, I guess, quick shifter for up and down quick shifts on this bike. So again, uh, you really don't have to work the clutch going on technical riding. So for the SP, in addition to the upgraded suspension and brakes, it's got this colorway, this paint job that's inspired by the R1M. It's also got a polished and clear coated swing arm. And also first on this model is it's got a keyless ignition. So instead of a normal ignition key, it's got a fob and uh, you can turn the switch, turn the bike on and off, lock it, open the uh, fuel cap and so forth. So again, $12,299 makes this actually a really fantastic motorcycle for the money. It's, you know, in terms of performance, in terms of handling, the ability to dial in uh, the suspension to exactly what your settings or preferences would be, like full electronic suite that you can, again, control. It's got ride modes. You can adjust uh, traction control, ABS, lift control, slide control, a number of other things, and really tailor the bike the way you want. And so in addition to the standard ride modes, it's got two custom modes so you can set those to what you want and switch to them immediately and get exactly what your settings are. So fantastic motorcycle. It's in dealerships now, uh, Yamaha, and uh, thanks for watching.